Okay, so if you've been following my Amiga uploads recently, you would have seen I've uploaded it to Quake today, being played through Amiga, and Doom, and I also did Metal Slug the other day. Now, Doom in particular, a lot of people found it was unbelievable how an Amiga was running that. So I'm going to go through the setup process using WinUA. So as usual, I'm going to be using AmiKit for this, but I'm going to show you the settings we need within WinUAE. I'm also going to show you the files that we need to get Star Wars Dark Forces running through WinUAE. So first of all, we're going to head over and this is the file that we're going to need. Under requirements, it's going to tell us that we need a 68040 or 68060 FPU. We also need a kickstart ROM of 3.0 and it also runs well with AGA chipset or RTG. It also needs 8 meg of fast RAM. All you need to do just there is download the LHA file and it's going to give you installation instructions beneath anyways. So what we do need then is a copy of the DOS version of Star Wars Dark Forces. I've got it just here and if I go into this folder I've got a folder in there called Dark. If I go into that folder this is the contents that we need. Everything in here including the LFD folder which has got separate files inside. So we just downloaded AmniNet file and here it is. So what I'm going to do first of all is drag the Dark Forces folder out. And we also got that darkforces.info. If I drag that inside of the Dark Forces folder. Next up, we're going to go back over to that DOS version of Star Wars Dark Forces. What we need to do is highlight everything and drag and drop it into that Dark Forces folder. Okie doke. So that's the file side of things set up. Now, we can actually delete the LHA file there, the archive, as well as the DOS version of Dark Forces. So what we need to do next then is, as we know, I'm using AmniKit. If I just open this, if I go to configure, first of all, if you're not using AmniKit, if you follow the settings I've got here, I can't see a reason why it wouldn't work for you if you're just using standards when you AE. So what I'm going to do first of all is go to hardware, CPU and FPU. And I'm going to set the CPU as a 68060. The file also says that it's going to work with 040. So even if you're running this through a physical real Amiga, if you've got a 040 CPU, then it should work technically. But I'm going to use 060 on this. What we're going to do next is go to chipset. And the chipset I'm using is AGA, as you can see. And I'm down to advanced chipset. Everything is unchecked apart from compatible settings at the top. If we go to ROM... Under main ROM file, this is actually a 3.1 ROM file just here. But I renamed it and it works fine. Just this kick.rom. Next thing, we're going to go to RAM. Under chip, I've got 8 megabyte. And under Z3 or Z3 fast, I've got 256 meg. And that works fine. So what I'm going to do next is actually open up AmniKit. So if I go to start. Okie doke, so I'm inside of AmniKit as you can see, if I press F12, what I'm going to do from here is mount the game itself, so I need to go to CD and hard drives, add directory or archive, device name, I'm going to call this SW0, I'm going to uncheck bootable, and I'm going to give it a volume name of Star Wars, really you can call this volume label, whatever you like, so let's just go with Star um, so next up, we're going to go to select directory. We need to tell it where the actual folder is, which is on my desktop. Now, I've got two folders because I was testing this before recording this video. So the one I'm going to go for is going to be the latest one here. Uh, so if I select folder and I then go to OK. Now, I'm going to attempt to use a controller in this. So if I go to game ports... Port 2, I'm going to select my Bluetooth Xbox controller, leaving port 1 as Windows mouse. If I go to OK, and here we go. So we got two versions of this. We got the 040 version, as well as the 060 version. Because I've set this up as a 060, all I need to do then is double left click on that icon.
surrender immediately. 